Investigators are still hoping someone will come forward with more details after a shooting yesterday at a Kokomo Aquatic Center. Police say a fight started in the pool area and continued outside where a 16 year old was shot. Sheriff's deputies with Howard County located a 17 year old boy. Police say was leaving the area with a handgun. He was arrested and taken to a youth center on two felony charges, including possession of a stolen handgun. Kokomo police are still trying to learn who took part in the fight just before the teen was shot. According to witnesses, police say at least five juveniles will, were involved in that fight. WRTV's Nikki Dementri is talking to neighbors and the mayor tonight on what's next. This pool close sign will remain on the gate here at Kokomo Beach at least until Friday. That's when the mayor here says a new plan will be put into place to ensure neighborhood safety. A lot of people are worried and concerned for their safety being out. Monica Everett frequents Foster Park. She works just across the street from Kokomo Beach. And Wednesday morning, she says she learned of the shooting outside of the pool involving a 16-year-old. A lot of us walk at the park on our lunch hours. Um, and of course, the Kokomo Beach is a family place. <laughs> so that makes us, um, you know, a little apprehensive. This hurts everybody in town just because a kid wants to shoot another kid. It's sad. That's Donnie Bouchon. He says this is the first incident he's heard of at Kokomo Beach, but not the first one in town. I'm tired of all the violence. It's time for people to come together instead of fighting. And he says it's that surge in crime as to why he's moving out of state. This is a, a lovable town. It used to be. And my wife, she's been here her whole life. And it's sad we have to move away to get away from the violence. In a release, Kokomo police say there is a noticeable rise in juvenile incidents at Kokomo Beach and Foster Park. Further adding both juveniles and parents are sometimes uncooperative. We've got to the point now that we're basically going to take a more aggressive stance on, on making the community feel more safe being at Kokomo Beach. Kokomo Mayor Tyler Moore says starting Friday, Kokomo Beach will see new safety measures. We met with the Kokomo Beach staff this morning and advised them to do the same, not to get involved in anything that may happen, but to be to give them the reassurance that uh, as soon as they call, we'll have somebody coming. Moore says two officers will be stationed at Kokomo Beach and another two at neighboring Foster Park. And we want folks to, to see that police presence here and have that uh, assurance that uh, they will be uh, safe bag checks will also begin. It's unclear if the gun used in Tuesday's shooting was ever inside the pool area. Really, it's just it's going to take a community effort uh, as we continue to work uh, to rebuild uh, the necessary numbers uh, within the Kokomo Police Department. In Kokomo, Nikki Dementri, WRTV. Nikki, thank you. As the investigation continues, police are asking for the public's help in hopes of providing more details from Wednesday night. We have the numbers to call either Kokomo Police or Central Indiana Crime Stoppers in the WRTV app.